Go for it. In this session, we'll construct a drawing of the guide plate shown here. During this process, we'll make use of several different techniques to define the different locations on the guide plate. We'll start the process of creating lines by clicking on the line icon located in the drawing toolbar. In order to define the starting point of the first line, we'll key in the coordinates 0, 0, and then press the Enter key. Notice that as we key in values, they are displayed in the command prompt area. Our first line will represent the bottom of the guide plate, which is 5.5 units long. So we'll key in 5.5, 0 to define the other end of this line. The line that has just been created is located along the very bottom edge of the graphics window. In order to improve the display, we'll move this line upward. We'll first click on the pan icon. And now we'll position the cursor in the middle of the drawing window, and then click and hold down the left mouse button while we drag the cursor. After we have positioned the line at its current location, we'll let up on the left mouse button and then press the escape key to exit the pan option. We'll now create a vertical line that is two and a half units long by using the relative rectangular coordinates entry method. This is done by keying in an at sign followed by the coordinates 0, 2.5. We'll now turn on the grid and snap options by clicking on their option buttons. Since the next line has endpoint coordinates x equals 8, y equals 2.5, We'll move the crosshairs over the grid to this location and then click the left mouse button. We'll now use the relative polar coordinates entry method in order to define a vertical line that is three units long. This is done by typing at three followed by the less than sign and then the value 90. For the diagonal line, we'll type in the relative coordinate entry at negative 1.5 comma one. For the top horizontal line, we'll use the direct distance entry. We'll do this by positioning the crosshairs directly to the left of the end of the diagonal line that we just drew. Now we type in 6.5 followed by the Enter key. In order to finish the outline of our figure, we'll click the right mouse button followed by clicking on the Close option. We'll now create the first circle on the guide plate by selecting the pull down options, Draw, Circle, Center, Diameter. Notice the prompt indicates that we need to specify the center of the circle. We'll do this by keying in the coordinates 3, 3. We'll now key in the diameter of 2.5. In order to draw a second circle, we'll right click the mouse and then select the repeat option from the pop up menu. We'll now use the relative coordinate entry method to define the center of the next circle. So we'll key in at 2.5 comma 2. And then we'll key in 1.5 for the diameter of the circle.